So y'all be seeing on them like them baby showers, all those fancy balloons. What if I told you people make racks to do those for people and I know somebody and I'm about to show them to you right now. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we got Karina of JJ's Balloons in the building and she gonna stop by today and tell us how to make money in what do you, I guess you call it the party decoration business. The, what, what's the technical name for that business? Party decorating. Yeah. Party decorating business. All right, so um, Karina makes really cool, really amazing like balloon arches, centerpieces, um, the whole nine. So I just want to first thank you for stopping by the channel and second of all, just kind of, you know, pick your brain and ask you some questions about your side hustle. All right, so the first question everybody's going to want to know is if I'm starting today and I want to do what you do, about how much money do I need to sit to the side as far as startup costs? Nothing. Basically, um, if you really want to start your business today, uh, just try and get out there, promote yourself, uh, start charging your customers right off the bat. If you're going to spend $100 in material, you want to charge between $300 and 400 Plus your time, you gotta add in the, uh, the distance that you're traveling, delivery fees, uh, you know, with Google Maps, it tells you how many miles, and you can uh, price it at that rate between the miles that you're going to uh, be traveling back and forth. Um, I go all the way to Waco, so that's already $200 just on delivery and setting up. So you really don't need anything upfront. You just have to charge your customer um, based on what you want to, you know, put in your pocket. Okay. I heard you say, I, I did hear you say $100 though. So is that a fair, you know, starting point as far as that first $100? And what are you, what are you going to be buying as far as you're going to be buying what, your first balloons or? Yeah, so with $100, you can buy a 7x5 uh, backdrop. Uh, Amazon is where I get mine, uh, or I used to get them from Amazon when I first started. Um, it'll give you about a good uh, range in, in backdrops, getting them, you know, from Amazon, and then of course your balloons. Uh, with the hundred dollars, you can buy at least two different colors. So the more colors that the customer wants to add on on their decorations, the more money, because you're gonna spend about thirty to forty dollars uh, per color. So always keep in mind a basic two color garland with a you know backdrop is going to range about 100 150 uh the more colors that they want of course you're going to up that price because it's more material that you have to put in okay okay cool 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 so one quick thing i want to bring up and talk about is um i think that anybody that's interested in this business are going to be interested in and that's learning right learning resources how did you learn how to do it youtube YouTube, yeah. okay. There's a lot of balloon artists uh, that are really big on YouTube and then they will walk you step by step. So when I first started decorating, I did it for my son's birthdays. And so I did everything off of YouTube tutorials. So, okay, so you said there's, there's learning resources on YouTube um, and you can learn step by step how to do it. Yes, um, I that's how I started. Uh, once I started realizing that this is something that I really wanted to get better at, um, I started uh, searching for uh, online courses. When I first started this, it was during COVID. So it was very few uh, per, uh, in-person classes. So I started paying for online courses. And those online courses, you know, they walk you through everything. You buy your own supplies though uh, and just follow them as they go. Um, once COVID was over and people could start gathering, uh, I attended several classes um, to uh, where I can actually uh, touch the stuff that they were, you know, showing me and follow the, the teachers that were teaching uh, the techniques. And there's so many techniques out there. It took me a while to find one that really worked for me. And like my technique may not work for you. So you always want to look at what's out there what to techniques. techniques yeah and do whatever fits you whatever works for you the best let me ask you this a lot of the times when you see those balloon arches you don't you don't kind of realize the time that goes yeah. into it so i first want to before we get into the cons i want to talk about the pros what are the pros of you know doing this type of business 
you're your own boss. You control what days you want to work. You control what weekends, you know, you want to work. Uh, so right now, I'm finishing up college. So this business really helped me get out of that nine to five job because I wasn't in this rigorous program that didn't allow for that. So having those you know, three day, three days for me to actually make money, it worked for me. So that's one of the pros that you control your time. You control how many events you want to do a weekend. If you're too tired for whatever reason, if you have kids and you just want to break, then you can control that. You know, if you, if you want a weekend off, you can, you can definitely take that time off and nobody's on you, you know, like a boss you're not clocking in and clocking out so that's one of the biggest things that i like about this that you're your own boss you control your time okay okay so now what about the cons right what are, what, what sucks about it what's what makes it what makes what makes it sometimes to where you like man i'm gonna quit it's a lot of work okay. it takes a lot time of, consuming yes okay. it's, it's time consuming it takes a lot of your time um when they think that it's just blowing balloons but it's more than that you know you have to you can make i mean someone can make an art and call it a day but if you are a perfectionist like i am you stand and you look and see which balloon doesn't go and you move it so it's it's just time consuming you don't just throw it you know together and hope for the best you it, you really have to work on a technique like I said, and to make it look good for the customer, because that's who you're trying to satisfy. Okay, 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 that's pretty good. So, we, we're not going to take up too much of your time. I got one more question for you, and this is probably what most of the viewers want to see, want to know, and also I want to let you know, look, we're not ever asking to get directly in your business, so when we ask you questions like that, give us roundabout figures, all right? Now let's talk about profit, right? How much, is, how much can, can you make in a given weekend? In a given weekend, if you start charging, you know, your fair share, um, because you you don't want to start low. Right. You you always want to charge what it is, so that you have that consistency. Because if you start cheap, that's all you're gonna want. That's all you're gonna attract cheap customers, and you you don't want that. There's nothing wrong with it, but you always want you know your investment to show. So on a good weekend, if I do about five events that Saturday, I can probably bring home like a thousand five hundred. Oh, fifteen hundred dollars in a weekend. That's pretty that's some good bread. That's some good bread. So oh clients, because I know people in the comments are gonna be like, oh, bro, how does how does she find clients? How did you get clients? Like what, what's the best way you would suggest somebody to get clients? Um, what helped me was social media. Um, just keep promoting yourself. Um, you'll get customers. Well, why are you so expensive? Well, are you wanting to pay for quality, or you know, like what do you want? So, always, uh, you know, buy the best products so that you can provide the best results. A lot of people think that I buy my kits off of Amazon. You can't compare. You will not. That's like comparing a Versace bag to a bag you bought at Walmart you know you can't compare the quality so social media is what helped me uh, grow also word of mouth I am very particular when I work with a new customer I always want to give everybody my best but when I get a new customer I go above and beyond because from that event two or three people will call me Oh, I'm interested in booking. I saw your work and it's so beautiful. Uh, you know, they don't even care about the price right, in, right then and there. All they saw was your quality. So always do your best at, you know, not just balloons, but at anything because there's other people that are going to reach out to you because of what they saw. So I, uh, that's what I do. I always try to give my best because from one event that I do, you know, other customers come in. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. All right, well, look, where can we find you? Look, first off, I want to tell y'all, if you are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, then boom, you're right here. Um, 
if you're not in the Dallas Fort Worth area still to follow her learn from her where can we find you on social media I have Instagram is JJ's underscore balloons by Corey and on Facebook is uh, JJ's underscore balloons by Corey all right look yeah you know what first I just want to number one thank you for stopping through again thank you for giving us that piece of game I think that's gonna help a lot of people out there so man thank you thank you for no doubt me. no doubt we out let's get it <laughs>